so I've been playing this game called uh, Dead Cells recently, and it's really fun. It's a roguelite, or a roguelike, one of the two, I can't remember, can't remember what the difference is. But, um, yeah, you, like, you this little green blobby guy, like, made of plants or whatever, and you fall out of the, uh, fall out of a sewer pipe or something, and steal the body of a prisoner and decide to kill God, or something like that. I don't know, the, the story's kind of hard to find. It's hidden. And, um, yeah, then you walk out into a prison, and you fight a bunch of monsters, and they kill you. And you respawn, and you do it again. Like, a lot. Quite a few times, actually. I've lost count of how many times I've died. But, uh, there's a nice little guy who keeps track of it for you. So, um, yeah, that's helpful. Of course, it's a, a video game where you fight things that have, uh, bosses. So, you have little mini bosses. Those are fun. You come across them every now and then. And then there are, like, the actual, like, real bosses who have full, um, full stages just for them. So, like, this, the first one, he looks kind of like scientists were like, hey, I wanted a, uh, a lava shark. And then they went, alright. And then the, the, the lava shark escapes, and it finds a rhino, and then they have a child. That's what the, the first guy looks like. Seems like the conquistador or something. Concord. Con... I don't know, I can't remember. Um, yeah, and then there's the second one, just kind of like a clock person. Just lives in the clock. And then, uh, eventually... You get to uh, the king. I went to fight the king, but you can't just fight the king. You have to fight the king's guard first. And uh, the king's guard killed me, so I didn't actually get to fight the king. But the uh, really fun part is, so you know how in like all sorts of video games, if you want to just run fast, you keep pumping into enemies and then they kill you. It's very annoying. Instead, in this game, you can just run right past them, and it doesn't even matter. Like they don't damage you unless they hit you. So, um, yeah. And the game rewards you for that, too. Like, if you get through a stage fast enough, you get a, uh, a bonus. And then, if you are really good, and you can kill, like, a couple, a certain number of enemies without taking damage, you also get a bonus thing. The game can be a little dark at times, but, like, that's all fun and good. All the good games have little dark bits. Oh, but it does have the very best setting in any game ever. And that is, it has a setting that lets you change your diet. So like, you got the normal stuff like om omnivore, where you eat everything, or carnivore, or vegetarian, or my favorite, cheese. Alright, I'm definitely going to be playing more of this game, so if you want to see more of this game, you know the drill. And so, yeah, I will see you next time.